Hey guys, it's Tara from Teaching on Lemon Lane. I wanted to hop on here and tell you about one of my favorite um, Thanksgiving activities. I cannot believe that we are approaching mid-November. It has gone by so quickly. Um, I'm working on a blog post that goes over my favorite activities for November that you can use in your classroom. There's a couple free ones on there that I know you're gonna love, um, but before I jumped into that, I wanted to highlight this activity because it's my favorite. Um, and maybe it's my favorite because so much work and thought and effort went into it. Funny how that happens, um, but I love it. It's great for a pretty large span of grades. Um, so I wanted to show it to you. I think you're gonna love it. Let me know what you think. The Thanksgiving meal planner project based learning activity is finally done. And Um, this activity here is where they list out their guests, they estimate how many servings they're going to need, and then they design an invitation and hit the copy shop. Real recipes means informational text, and if you follow my story, you know that I love informational text and that I think that it should be fun and interesting. There's over 18 different um, recipes they can pick from. Fun part about real recipes is the students can actually take them home and try them. Um, you'll also notice that all of the fractions and ingredients that I've used are very user friendly and that was on purpose. Um, like many recipes, when it comes to Thanksgiving, most recipes will need to be doubled or even tripled. Um, this sheet will help students do that. They write the original amount and then they adjust it by two times or by three times repeated addition or multiplication works great. After students have listed their ingredients on their shopping list and the quantity based off of what they've come through the recipe cards, they'll head to the grocery store. You can use my printouts or you can use actual grocery ads or even do online shopping. If you do use my grocery ads, there are three different versions. Um, also notice the coupon. This version is great for adding and subtracting decimals at an advanced level, but remember they can also be rounded. This one's more money friendly. The last one is most simplified. Notice it's $25 off instead of 20% and the dollar amounts are all whole and the cents are in 25 cent intervals. This is where students record every cost that they've taken. This is to find the exact. Students can also calculate sales tax. This one is actually a separate page. This is where it is estimated so they can do their estimating and rounding if the exact cost stresses them out a little bit or if you want to do both. This page is my favorite. I hope this page blows your students' minds a little bit, that they start to realize how much preparation and thought and time and planning and science goes down to making Thanksgiving work. How will they make six meals hot, ready to go? After their minds are blown, then they can write a thank you note to whoever's been making them Thanksgiving or putting in that preparation all those years. If they haven't had a Thanksgiving, they can write to someone that they're grateful for. Students will also design the seating arrangement, sketch out the dinner layout, as well as reflect on different parts. They also give themselves a score one through five. This is based on effort and attitude, not proficiency. Lastly, to show my gratitude to you, I've uploaded two free Thanksgiving activities included with this download. One is just a fun little um, coloring page, and this is my favorite. It's grateful through the outfit. 